a simple beef and rice recipe. The main material for this recipe are rice, beef, and beet. So now let's first cut this beef steak into thin slices. Then cut the slices into small strips. Then chop the beef strips into small pieces. The best is they are bigger than ground beef. Cut the green onions into two parts. First, we use the white part. Slice them into slices. Then slice this ginger thin threads. Add salt into the container. Grab, grab everything in this container. Some liquid come out. Add in cold water. Grab, grab everything again. Onion ginger liquid formed. Meat container. Add in ground citron pepper. Add in white pepper powder. Add in oyster sauce. Add in sugar. Add in salted green onion ginger liquid. That's the one we made before this step. Add in OXO chicken sachet. Add in a little bit of water, then mix everything well. Then remove the seeds from the red hot pepper, and then slice it into thin slices. Then cut it into tiny bits. For the green onion, Green part, we slice it first, then cut them into small, tiny pieces too. Next step, we process the three beets. Cut each one into small slices. Each slice is about one fourth inch thickness. Next, we put the beet slices one layer in the plate. Next, we back to the meat container. We add in the soaked rice. Put a big tablespoon of the meat and the rice mixture into the hand. Then make a ball using the hand. Then put the ball onto the beet slices. Now I have three plates of the balls. Next, put some water in the steamer. Make sure the water is enough for boiling about 30 minutes. Then put the first container in the bottom layer. This is the second layer. This is the third layer. Cover it and turn the heat to medium heat. Next, use a bowl, add in salt, add in sugar, add in light soya sauce, add in VH plum sauce. Add in potato starch. Add in cold water. Stir to mix everything. Now we see the steamer already have some steam come out. So we steam for 30 minutes from now. After 30 minutes, turn off the heat and cool down about a few minutes. Then open the cover. Wow, they looking so nice. Then we take out all the plates. That's the three plates. Next, we heat a cooking pan over medium heat. Then add in the plum juice mixture into this pan. Then stir, stir. Continue stir until the liquid is thicker enough like this. 
Return of the Heat. To add the plum juice mixture onto each of the bowl, then sprinkle with green onion bits and the red pepper bits. Now everything is well done. Wow, they look so beautiful. Now we start to eat. Take one bowl as well as the beets and take some juice. Wow, it tastes so wonderful. A little bit of beef taste, a little bit of rice taste, a little bit of plum juice sweet taste, and everything is so wonderful.